hello everyone welcome back to programmers mode so in today's video we are going to explore about copilot how we can utilize it more efficiently in our day-to-day -day life so currently i'm using vs code and in vs code i have already configured copilot when you select here settings and here in extensions when you search for github copilot then you can see two uh, extensions have been installed here by default while doing the setup first thing that uh, we are going to explore is about next edit suggestions so as you can see here i have enabled next edit suggestions how it actually helps us is uh, let me create one file so i have created one csjs file here let me write one callback function say i'm writing test I hit okay so suppose here i'm logging out one param event and say i have it declared here so now we have enabled next edit suggestions so when i try to update for example this name as you can see my cursor is still here but now it is suggesting me to update this event to params okay so this is the feature of next edit suggestions so here you can see this different options so hitting tab will eventually accept the re recommended changes so i will press tab now that's updated next is here with respect to instructions so there are two configurations for instruction here let me quickly yeah see here both are present the first one as you can see refers to review selection a set of instructions that will be added to copilot request that provide code review for the current selection so when you select a code it is like allowing us to add certain instructions that copilot can follow while reviewing okay so there are two ways to configure that as we can see here first one is with respect to file and second one is with respect to inline text so this file is nothing but what i saw was md file yeah here it is so in dot github uh, folder maybe we can define this file uh, named as copilot hyphen instructions.md and in md format only you can define all uh, instructions there and similarly it goes for code generation as well so while generating code uh, you can give set of instructions to copilot what things to keep in mind for example uh, like it goes with respect to review as well as code generation both the example that i'm going to take uh, say for example i want to define a variable which only has to use camel case if anyone tries to create a variable using say snake case or some different cases then particularly it should like recommend that it should be camel case and not some other case cool um there was one more thing i noted down okay uh before that uh let me open it in edit in settings so here you can see how we can define it so this is the way uh when we enable that uh it gets added here and like it follows top to bottom parsing so for example whatever instructions are defined here in this file will get parsed first and when we uh, define any inline text uh, then it gets merged uh, with the above parsed uh, instructions so then it will be taken into consideration as uh, it moves from top to bottom uh, next was i researched about some temporal context let me search that i am not able to find it in my dog as well temporal yeah see here it is so how this feature will help us like how this configuration helps us is let's take an example to understand this better uh, we are working on a large project in which we are adding one individual feature or updating one individual feature and for that we reviewed some files and updated some files out of whole project now 
आई वॉन्ट दिस को पायलट टू रिमेंबर दैट टेम्पोरल कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ विच फाइल आई हैव एडिटेड विच फाइल इज करेंटली ओपन और रिसेंटली व्यूड सो हियर इफ आई ओपन दिस सो यू कैन सी हियर हियर इफ आई ओपन मेन डॉट जे एस सी करेंट फाइल इज करेंटली एडेड इन दिस कॉन्टेक्स्ट वेन एवर यू आस्क क्वेश्चन इट विल रिफर टू दिस कॉन्टेक्स्ट एंड इट विल गिव यू रिस्पॉन्स इन द सेम मैनर नेक्स्ट इज हियर इफ आई क्लियर दिस आउट इन स्टार्ट ओनली सर्च को पायलट या सो हियर वी कैन सी we can enable or disable code completions for specified languages now how copilot will know for which language we don't want code suggestions or code completions for example so here you can see this wild card uh, is already by default set to true but there are different set of examples included here like plain text markdown scm input so this all type of files won't get code completions would get suggestions of code completions like that so this all can be uh, configured from here you can add item and explore the same moving on to next uh, here let me first show you that we have two options one is uh, with respect to ask and one is with respect to the agents okay so let me switch it to first ask and here uh, let me add hash so this is with respect to symbol notations with the help of which you can directly command copilot without writing much or giving too much text uh, as a prompt if i say edit files and give main dot js let's see what it does see it edited that file okay so it is kind of set of commands that you can directly tell copilot to do from this list so as uh, currently what it did was it currently had this copilot folder in a context it created this file kind of it edited that now it is also telling that i can see that it is current successfully edited but it doesn't have much visual visibility into the current contents or the files and it wants us to specify changes that we want help with so next is with respect to at the rate with this we can hit terminal at the rate terminal slash explain and that will explain say for that terminal command uh, like without us or like typing a whole prompt do this that and explain this certain like it clears out out all all the noises as well for example let me hit this and uh, say i write the explain me or say i, I just simply write explain c a t c i have wrote this much itself let's see what it does see so with respect to the current files context and with respect to this cat command it has explored and like without much writing it kind of told us how we can utilize this cat command with this main.js in our terminal so this way you can utilize uh, this all you can say in workspace you can write tests for your different files maybe you can create new workspace as well here with this slash uh, new command so uh, maybe there are some errors coming uh, in your terminal and you want to get uh, rid of that and uh, so directly you can utilize this slash fix command here uh, in your workspace and eventually give it context of all the files that you that you are facing in error into and it will kind of help you with that it can it, it can help you debug that as well so yeah you can explore this all uh, command tools kind of things with respect to slash so here directly like without uh, say 
going through the this uh, workspace slash explain and all you can directly hit slash and it will like display you all the uh, commands or so here you can see we do have a option to install chat extensions as well there are two types of chat extensions that we have option of so one is directly available from uh, extensions uh, tab here in within vs code uh, that you can utilize uh, and integrate it with respect to copilot and there's one other one as well uh, on github's library uh, like on github.com marketplace you can find a set of tools there as well let me just open that for you quickly okay so as you can see here directly uh, on this link that i will provide in uh, description as well so here this all extensions are there that you can integrate uh, into that and utilize this as well so there are like uh, extensions available for docker maybe stack overflow is also there then there's this atlassian as well and there are a whole lot set of extensions that you can utilize jfrog is also available so yeah you can explore this as well cool let's move to vs code again uh yeah i was talking about context as well so let me quickly show what we can do with this there, this one more tool that we have uh, known as cursor so how cursor uh, differs from copilot is copilot is a coding assistant tool like a uh, pair dev okay that codes with you but cursor is a kind of ai ide itself like it is deeply integrated into vs code and uh, then we can then we are utilizing that so cursor has all the context beforehand but for github uh, it doesn't has much context of your workspace right now because it is like not deeply integrated into your id it needs that context to help you more to provide that context here we do have this option where we can simply mention files and folders we can mention the instructions we can mention the screenshots there as well all the open files that are there we can directly add into context so here i will click on files and folders and here maybe say i simply click on main.js so this main.js is added into its context i can directly add whole repo itself in the context so that's all for this video comment down what feature or configuration you liked more or you utilized apart from all this that i have mentioned we'll meet again in next video with an amazing and interesting topic around ai and technology until then take care and bye bye